I love that name. And now, and now here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. I get these emails from people, and um, it never ceases to amaze me what people think they can do, what people think they can get away with. The misunderstandings we have, it never ceases to amaze me. The listener who is unsigned writes the following. Okay, Tom, I have a question for you. I had a date with one of your listeners the other day. I had met him at an outdoor event... Only talked a little while, and we agreed to go out, quote, for coffee. Well, right there, there's a listener who's not following the rules. Because uh, my listeners don't go out for coffee. (laughs) And if you're a Tom Likas listener and you've agreed to go out to coffee, stop doing that. How often do you go out for coffee with somebody and it ends up being sex? (laughs) Jesus. The email goes on. The letter writer says, We got together a couple of weeks later for lunch. Yes, my lunch costs less than $10. It's another thing a Likas listener would not do. No lunch. And then he said he wanted to drop by his apartment for a minute. When we got there, before going in, I told him that I wasn't going to have sex with him. (laughs) You're kidding, right, dear? Come on. Darling, all you have to say is, I'll wait down here. You let him go up to his apartment and get whatever he needs to get. I mean, come on, how complicated is this? If he invites you up to his apartment, he's inviting you up to his apartment in hopes of, uh, you know, it's, it's like Kobe getting the towels delivered to his uh, hotel room at midnight. You know what I'm talking about? You don't want to be going up to his apartment. You stay downstairs. You tell him, I'll wait down here for you. Because when you go to his apartment, you are sending a mixed message. You tell him you're not going to have sex with him, and then you go up to his apartment? No. No. If you want to send a consistent message to him, a message that will make it above all the clutter, as they like to say, a message that will make it above uh, all of his uh, desire to uh, get laid, all that lust, keep the message consistent by not going up there. Don't go up there. Jesus! She goes on to say, when we got there, to the apartment that is, before going in, I told him that I wasn't going to have sex with him. I only knew him for a couple of hours. And I didn't want to have sex with him at that point in time. Of course, he said, sure, it's cool. But as soon as we got inside, it was another story. Duh. I had to battle him for a couple of hours. Until he finally gave up and took me home. Look, says the letter writer, I don't want to be a tease. So I try to be up front. But what part of no do guys not understand? Again, darling, the part they don't understand is many women say no right before they have sex with us. If you really mean no, you don't go into his apartment with him. It's that simple. 
Do you have the right to go into his apartment when he invites you? Do you have the, uh, should you have the right? Well, yeah, great, you should. Uh, just like I should have the right to leave my car with the engine running while I go upstairs and get a few things. I do have the right to do that. I mean, that true? Let's say you're going to go back to your apartment to, to pick up your keys or something you left at home. Wouldn't it be easy if you just double park in front of your building with the engine running, run upstairs? You should be able to do that. Of course, somebody will probably steal your car, but you should be able to do that. <laughs> it would be stupid to do it, but you should be able to. But how about if you really don't want to get your car stolen, how about just to be on the safe side, you park it, you lock it, and you take the key with you? And same thing here. You should be able to go into this guy's apartment. But if you really, really, really are sure that you really don't want to battle him about sex, how about just to be sure you don't go in? How about that? She continues here. She says, as you've told your listeners, most women know whether they're going to sleep with the guy pretty quick. Quickly, dear. Now, in this case, it might have been a possibility, but not after two hours. So she says, what's the best way to handle it? How to convey to the guy that no is no, and don't bother getting all hot trying to make something happen that isn't going to. Then she finally asks the question at the bottom of paragraph three of this letter. Should I just have not even got into the apartment with him in the first place? Duh. You're a little slow on the uptake, darling. She says, I dig assertive men, and if that guy would have been a bit slower on the draw, we might have had some fun. As it turned out, the whole situation was creepy. What do you think? If you don't want the guy pawing all over you, don't go into his place. Don't do it. Don't do it. That is the surest way to guarantee that things you don't want to happen will not happen. I don't understand why, whether it be the beauty pageant contestant who went to Mike Tyson's hotel room at 3 a.m., or Kate Faber going up to Kobe Bryant's room with the towels at midnight, or other women just, you know, well, I should be able to go anywhere I want. If I want to go into a man's room at 3 in the morning and not take my clothes off, I have the right to do that. Well, yes, you do, but you're stupid. Because you never know when you were the next rapist. Why would you do it? Even if you should be able to, why would you? Am I crazy? Tom. Oh, yeah. Like this. Tom. Hey. Like this. Man, you're the only guy in the world I consider going to bed with. <laughs> oh, boy. The Tom Likes Show. Tom like this show at one 800 800 tom I just don't understand women who, you know, they don't want to have a sex with a guy, but they do things like go up to the guy's apartment even after he's uh, put the hit on him to have sex. What are you doing? What are you doing? You don't want to have sex with a guy, don't go to his place. Just don't go. Melissa, hello? Hello. Yes. Hey, Tom, it's Melissa. First I'm... time in a long time. Yes. I love your show. I just had to call because I am so incensed at a woman's letter. How, how do women today still think like that? I, I'm amazed at this. I'm just amazed I'm getting a letter like this. It blows me away. It blows me away because it makes the rest of us look bad. I was so outraged at the whole Mike Tyson thing, the whole Kobe Bryant thing. These women... I don't know what's in their heads thinking that they're going to go in someone's room or someone's apartment and they're just going to say, oh, you know what? I don't really want to do anything. Come up. They do it all the time, dear. Uh, you know, I know. I know. It's like, I, I'm just, you just don't know what they're thinking when they do that. I told you the story last week of a woman who called me. Did I tell you this story? I, maybe, yeah. I don't know if you heard this. Yeah. I, I told this story last week. Uh, a woman called me who I have not seen since 2001. Fact, she hasn't called me. I haven't spoken to her, and I forgot who she was. 
So I, uh, <laughs> I, I just got this very cryptic message from a woman in the 714 area code. She said, hello, uh, Tom, uh, this is uh, so-and-so, and I need you to call me right away. And I'm thinking, oh, geez, did I knock somebody up? What is this? So I returned the call immediately, and it turns out to be a chick I've never had sex with. The one time we actually went out, she told me how anxious she was to get with me. Um, spent the evening having drinks with me and then came back to my place six years ago. And when she got there and when I tried to get down to business, she goes to the bathroom. She goes back and goes, well, you know, it's uh, that time of the month. So I don't know if I'm all that comfortable. It's like, goodbye. <laughs> what am no, I, why are you here? Why did you come here? Exactly. You know, I, I'm all for, you know, if a woman says anything to know, but again, why put yourself in that situation? If you're not planning on doing anything, it's, it's just ridiculous. Why would you even, you know, if you already have it in your head, you know, this has happened to me before. If I know anything's going to happen, I'm not going in there. I'm not going to do it because I'm not going to give the guy the wrong idea lead him on or be a tease. I'm not going to even put myself in the situation. If I'm going in there, I'm getting down. And by, by the way, I might add, that as much as the rape advocates or the anti-rape advocates or the whatever, as much as they like to say that uh, no means no. No. That, look, no. let's face it. Half the time when you're with a woman, no means yes or no means I'm thinking about it. Exactly. I said no plenty of times where that's exactly what it means. It means well, me. <laughs> uh, you know, but like I said, you just, it just outrages me that these women think that they have like a free pass to go and do whatever they want and then at the last second they can turn around and blame somebody else right. they shouldn't have been there in the first place that's right exactly well anyway I love your show Tom I have to call and say hey keep doing what you're doing thank you Melissa appreciate the call 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number this is Mark on the Tom Likas show hello hey Tom how you doing doing great that's great to hear man you know what this guy is not a Tom Likas student He's not. I mean, first of all, he went out with coffee, then he took her to lunch, and then he brought over his house. What's up with that? I know. That's, that's three strikes, he's out, Tom. He, he's failing. Don't ever let him in again. I agree. <laughs> all right, that's all I want. <clears throat> that's all I wanted to say, Tom, and I appreciate it. Thank you, Mark. And uh, every time I call, I, I get on pretty quick. So, th thank you to Dino. By the uh, Dean and, uh, gets I the job done for you. I'll tell you what. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Carlos on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Carlos. You are the man. Hey, listen. I want to say about that broad that sent that message to you. Yeah. When she said, "I'm going in, but I'm not going to have sex with you," she truly meant, "I want to see the inside of your house to see if you're rich." <laughs> well, because because I he had no wealth, she to put out. Well, that's a good theory. Uh, I'd love to know why, after a woman says, I'm not going to have sex with you, why they go up to the apartment or go into a man's house anyway. If you're not going to have sex with him, don't send a mixed message by going into his place alone. She wanted to see if he had any luxurious things, expensive stuff, and then she would have thrown her panties on his face. Well, I know for a fact that there are many women who say, oh, I don't usually do this on the first date. But you know what? If you're a rock star, a radio talk show host, an actor, a famous person, uh, they'll do it with you on the first date because they're afraid they'll never get a second date. Exactly. Hey, listen, Tom, you're the best. Thank you, Carlos. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Thank you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Kevin on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, I just wanted to give you maybe a reason or two that these women are going into houses. And do, that do would so. be, you know, they, they go in to get an extra free drink. They go in to get an extra hit of pot. They go in to get whatever they can free off of this guy who's already bought the coffee, done the lunch, and that's all they're doing is getting a little extra. They know they're not getting sex. They know they're not giving anything up. They just want as much as they can. Cause once well, I will say giving, I'm amazed at the number of women who go out with guys they have no intention of sleeping with. Hey, they're there to milk money and get what they can out of each try, you know? Why would you go into the home of somebody you have no intention of sleeping with, and why would you go have dinner with them or drinks with them if you have no intention of sleeping with them? I have an ex who used to brag about how many great restaurants she ate at before she knew me with no, guys she never I don't, slept I don't with. Try, I'm sorry to cut you off. I don't, I don't try to understand the minds of women. They're crazy. But I do know that they like their money and they like 
stuff, sorry about that, getting stuff for free. And, and that's the way it is. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Dora on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How's it going? Great. I, this is the one time that I'm going to have to agree with you. Uh, most of the time, I just get mad and turn the channel because you're so negative towards women. And I'm just wondering why you don't like women so much. That's not what you called to ask. You lied to the screener to get on the air, didn't you? Well, that's pretty good of me, isn't it, Tom? So you did lie to get on the air. No, I didn't. I well, said I you're not. You're you. not calling in to say what you said. I'm reading on the screen what you told Dean, and it's not what you're saying now. I did. I said I agree with you on your issue. So you're going to cut me off because I got on? Well, dear, you, you didn't have to lie. Why didn't you just tell him the truth? I did. I said I agree with Tom on this one. But you didn't answer my question. Uh, dear, there is no answer to that question because it's ridiculous. I don't agree with your assertion. What assertion is that? That I hate women. I said, why are you so negative towards I'm women? I'm not negative towards women and I don't hate women. I wish you'd play some good rock and roll. I'm in Phoenix and all I hear is... You this is not. Women. This is not a music show, Dora. If you want to hear music, there's plenty of radio stations that play it. You still haven't answered my question. I'm not going to. Go turn on a music station, dear, if that's what you really want. Unbelievable. Maybe if all women sounded like you, I'd be even more negative. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Great. Yeah, I uh, met a couple about three weeks ago down here uh, at a bar, hung out. Uh, things were going great. I could tell she was flirting with me. Uh, meant to hang out again. It never happened. We ran into each other. She said that uh, they broke up. He turned out to be kind of a uh, you know PR and uh, it didn't work out. She was sending all the messages that she still wanted to go through with it. Had about six drinks. Went back to my house a half an hour after getting there. After her first drink, she split, picked up her phone, said she had a call, had to go. <laughs> what is that? I have absolutely no idea. First of all, she said that his true self came out, and they'd only been together a couple months, so the deed was already done. They're through. Then she goes in to tell me that she was attracted to me. He turned out to be a schizo, crazy jealous. Of course, he had a reason made the point to actually get in my car, come home with me, and then uh, had a friend come pick her up. So I don't know if she was just wigging out or if she was just trying to go through it to get the balls to do it, but, you know, three hours out of my night, just gone. Wow. So I come across these women all the time, man. Unbelievable. I, just, I don't get it. Well, I just got back from Vegas. I just moved back, and... uh it, it doesn't matter what state you're in, what part of town you're in. It's just they're all the same, Tom. Well, uh, we certainly hear a lot of the same things, a lot of the same stories. We hear them all the time. This is C on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. How are you? Do you care? I do, man. I'm doing great. Right on, right on. Hey, this happened to me this Saturday. Uh, you know, at this party, all these girls there. We went to a Mariners game, hooked up with all these people at this bar after the game. Uh, and there was like probably two other girls there that, that were ready to go with me. And I just got with this one. She actually drove me home to my house and, uh, just never could really hit, get around third base. It was like got the bat away, you know? And, uh, I was like, wow. So she wasn't coming to play, man. Wow. So they're out there. What is that all about? I don't know. They're out there, though. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable, my friend. Can you take me out Kingdom style? Boy, that's really going back in time. Do you know how old that is? I'm a first-time caller, long-time listener. So. Holy cow. That is, um, let me see, that goes back almost 10 years. All right, here you go. Fire.
855-800 Tom is our telephone number. It's Art on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Dad. How's it hanging? Hanging right, son. Ah, uh, I'm left today myself. Ah. Hey, I, I got a story. This happened to me about a year ago. It was this chick that I'd known for several years on and off and, and always kind of had the hots for her. She was about 10 years younger than I am. And finally, it was kind of, we ran into each other, asked her out. We got out four or five times, which I know was stretching the rules, but she was, like I said, very, very hot. So I put up with that. My birthday was coming up in a week or so, and I invited her. As a matter of fact, you probably know Sycamore Mineral Springs. Yeah, in Central California, love that place, love the hot tubs, love that place, and I'd wanted to go there myself. So I decided to ask her along, and it's a couple nights before, and we were out, and she said, "Well, I hope you don't assume that we're just automatically going to be having sex on this trip." And I said, "Well, yeah, I kind of did assume that, you know," and of course I, oh, sorry, uh, I, I canned her off the trip, and then went by myself, but what, what surprised me was when she said to me, we both have daughters that are about 10 years old, and she said to me, well, I hope when they're our age, our daughters don't just assume that someone wants to have sex with them like that. <laughs> and I said, I sure as heck hope my daughter does assume and understands that. Right. And then if she doesn't want to have sex with someone, that she doesn't go on a trip with somebody like that. Exactly. Exactly. Hey, take me out with a bong hit and a thank you, Jesus, please, Tom. Here you go, Art. Thank you, Jesus. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Christina on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yes, thank you for taking my phone call. Sure. Um, my father told me about your show probably about a couple years back. And so a month ago I started listening and I thought for sure, oh my gosh, this guy's a jerk. He's, he's a pig. But the more I started listening to you, the more you made sense when it comes to women and men. Um, and I hope that when my boys become of age and hopefully you're still around, I'm going to have them listen to your show because women are just, they're, they're vicious. <laughs> and I know this because I'm a woman and I, you know, the way I've treated men and, and so forth. I, what, know, what do you think is going on here? When a, when, a, when a woman doesn't want to have sex with a guy, that's fine. That's her right to, to feel that way. And uh, anybody who doesn't want to have sex uh, should not have to have sex. And we have laws uh, about things like that. And, well, we should. But, uh, all right, so uh, here's a woman. She doesn't want to have sex with a guy. The guy clearly wants to have sex. Why do women go into the guy's house? Why do they go up to his apartment? Why do they go up there at odd hours of the night? Why? They're a tease or they're a whore in disguise. Pardon my French, but that's what it sounds like to me. Because usually a woman, from my past experience, if you go to a guy's apartment, especially at 3 a.m., you have sex on your mind, too, not to go and talk. I mean, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I just if you don't want to have sex with somebody, do not go into their place. Just don't go in. Right. And another important thing that I never understood why my father growing up, you know, teenagers and going out on dates, my father always said, you know, men always, boys always think what's in their pants. And I never understood that until I got a little older and I have a daughter of my own that, yes, they do have, they only think what's in their pants because it came from my dad. <laughs> that's the only look. I hate to tell you this, Christina, but that's the only reason guys want to talk to you. Yeah, they. Yeah, exactly. And I'm not. I'm not arguing that. It's completely true. Completely true. I'll be the first one to tell you we're a bunch of dogs. That's that's how we are. <laughs> you, they are. That's how <laughs> we are. But we, don't get it. It's not just them. It's also me. That's how I am. I have told women point blank, and you would think they would appreciate my honesty. Yeah. I don't need yes. new pals. I've got lots of friends. Yeah, and and a lot, too, has to do with the damn women's lib. I mean, give it up already. You know, you got your right to vote. You got your right to do this. But come on, give it up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, anyway, thank you for taking my call. It's been a pleasure. Christina, thank you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Why do women go to a guy's place? If they don't want to have sex with him, just stay out. Don't go to his apartment. Don't go to his house. Stand outside, sit in your car, sit in his car, just don't go in. Why do women do this? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Eve on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Yes. 
A couple of comments. Um, I'm in my 30s, and when I was younger, I think that when you're not heterosexual because a woman, you could be confused about what you want and how you want it. And I think that a lot of the times a woman goes up to a guy's house with intention. I think especially when you're heterosexual, big women have a lot more intention than guys do. But I think that when you're younger, you're kind of confused. You're like, well, I want to go up and I don't sleep around. I don't need guys' money. But sometimes I'm kind of meeting a guy and I'm like, well, I want to see how his place is. I want to see how he's like in private. You know, let's say if I met him at a bar. I mean, I brought guys home. I've gone to guys' houses. Some of them I've slept with. Some of them I've dated. Some of them I've just left in the middle of the night because they're acting like total jerks. And, I mean, I see it both ways, but I must say I am a sexually independent woman, and really if the guy wants to get with a woman, he needs to be acting appropriately and not expect that a woman would go up and just get some all the time. Well, but, but, but I, what I'm trying to tell you is that, look, just like I would not leave my car with a key in it and the engine running while I go inside, if I, I didn't want to, if I'm a woman, I don't want to have sex with somebody, I don't go into their place. Well, I think that, I think that, you know, women tend to be not sure about what they want. So sometimes they're like, I want to go up to the guy's place and I will see where things lead me to. It's not like, a woman just goes up, tears her clothes off, and go have me right no, now. No, but I think I think a lot of women want to go up there just because they can. I do agree with the last caller. I think a lot of them are teases. I think a lot of them love to see the guy going <laughs> and saying, "No, no, no, you can't have any. <laughs> no, 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 you can't have any." I, I think there are women who are just into that. I think that I agree with that too. But like I said, I am at my sexual peak, and at this point in my life. You know, when you get there, I think the women that are younger might go for the tease thing. And I, when I was younger, might have been more of the tease mentality. But at this point in my life, if I do decide to go home with somebody and they give me a negative vibe, I would walk out. Right. But I think that women who are concerned about uh, being raped should stay out of any man's house or apartment. I completely agree with it. I believe that if that is a concern that a woman has, she shouldn't be alone with a guy. It's just that simple. I then there is no mixed message. I completely agree with it. I believe that if you want to be safe, you need to keep yourself to yourself. And if you want to go to a guy's house, take your friends with. Thank you, Eve. Appreciate the call. It's Tom on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom? Nathan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How's it going? Great. I was just talking. I've had numerous situations where girls have, like, uh, said they weren't going to come in or weren't going to hook up with me, or weren't going to sleep with me, whatever. And you just, like, what I've done is you just, you, you got to spit the right game. You got to say the right things. And I've ended up gotten, getting with all of them. It's just, like, so I don't know what these guys are doing to, like, not get what they want. But... Well, I mean, I been, now look, there's many times... I've, had, I've had girls straight up say, I'm not going to do anything with you. And I'll be like, all right. And then I ended up, you just end up sitting, like, saying the right things, doing the right things. That like, can happen, it. but I would say if a woman if it knows for sure she doesn't want to have sex with a guy, stay out of his place. Yeah, that's true. But girls have told me that, and I've still gotten it. So <laughs> now, That does happen sometimes, but uh, women who really don't want to have sex with a guy just shouldn't go in. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. If all I do is call you about 1230, you ever get that call, ladies? 1230 in the morning? Hey, Mom. What are you doing? Yeah, you sleeping? Booty call. The Tom Likas Show. Christ, I don't do a lot of endorsements. There's one radio program and one only that I can recommend. And you're listening to it right now. <laughs> it's 1 800 5800 Tom. It's the Tom Likas Show, endorsed by Jesus himself. That's right. Uh, we're talking about an email I received from uh, a woman who, like, 
<laughs> didn't want to have sex with a guy, and he, the guy wanted to drop by his apartment for a minute. She said, "Well, before I before I went in, I told him I wasn't going to have sex with him." But then she went in anyway. Couldn't believe she had spent a couple of hours fending him off. It's like, why'd you go in there? One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Janet on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how you doing? Doing great, Janet. Okay, well, you know, us ladies also have experiences like that. I've had plenty of men over my house. They come over, they want to talk, I want to get to business, and they leave. Um, I'm not sure what's going on there. They're gay, they don't listen to you. I don't know what the problem is. They don't know how to close the deal. I, it's ridiculous. I mean, they come over, we're upstairs in my apartment, they're like, okay, well, it's getting late, I have to work. It's I'm sorry, hey, my, language, hey. my language, but I mean, come on, it's ridiculous. It's happening to us, too. I mean, we're ready to do the deed, and they just back out. Are you hot, dear? I believe I'm very hot. What do you look like? I am 5'5", five five, I weigh 120, I have very nice breasts, size so, um, 36 double D. That's about it, brunette. And, and when, a guy comes, brown eyes. when a guy comes over your apartment, you're ready to get the job done. Exactly. I mean, we already had dinner. Whatever you have to say should have been said there. I don't. Right. I don't really get the whole. I mean, like you said, why are you coming? Like you really think you're coming over? Like we're not. I'm not seven. We're not having sleepovers anymore. You know, it's kind of crazy. All right. Uh, and your address is what? I got to write this down. What is your address? My address. <laughs> uh, how about out there? <laughs> Good one, good one. Almost came out. <laughs> and I also want to give you your props. You know, you do really, really good. Like, all these women who get offended from you, they're just mad because they're those women. That's right. They're the ones who are getting played and all that. I, I go by your book. Everything the guys say, they're saying it to get to your pants. And we all know that. We just like to play stupid. <laughs> pretend. Maybe he needs it. I think this guy really likes me. No, he doesn't. He really wants your, you know, yes. your goods. So. He wants the goods. Exactly. And us girls are ready to give it, too. We just like to play the games. At the end, it's all going to end up in the bed anyways. That's right. Might as well just cut through all the crap. Sorry, screw the dates. That's you right. Know, just come over. Sounds good to me. So. All right, Janet, thank you for that. <laughs> she had effing on the brain. 1-800-5-800-TOM is our telephone number. Jonathan in Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat. You're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jonathan. Doing? Great. Hey, long-time listener. Hey, uh, your uh, quotes are practically on our uh, family crest now, but uh, I think I've been too much of a nice guy. I got the girl coming over to your uh, house story um, all locked up. Really? Yeah. had a friend. She started out as a friend, which I think that was probably my first mistake. And uh, so... We go over to my house. We had already gone out on a date, me, her, her friend, and her friend's boyfriend out to uh, down to Q's in Portland to play some pool. Yeah. And uh, we took some, I, you know, we had some fun, you know, everything. And every, after everything had played out, we uh, headed back to my dad's place because he, uh, he was out of town. And we dropped off uh, her, her friend and uh, her friend's boyfriend. And we go back to my place and we start hanging out. And uh, just as it seems like, you know, so, sums up, uh, out of nowhere, she's like, I got to go home. I'm like, I, I thought you said you uh, you told your parents that you were staying at your friend's house. Man. And she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I did. I'm like, well, uh, then what's up? She's like, oh, well, uh, my friend uh, Stephanie wants me to come uh, come home. Out of, out of the blue. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Just tagged me upside the temple from left field. So you, did, you didn't see her again after that, did you? Oh, I uh, I made the mistake as as I said I was a nice guy, you know. I right. you know, a couple times ended up uh, it ended up ending because uh, I had a dispute with uh, her friend and her friend's boyfriend, and uh, she took sides. That was that was her, the final mistake. I Too much drama. Out. Too much drama, baby. Unbelievable. Jason on the top like his show. Hello. G L, how you doing, buddy? Doing great, Jason. Second time, long time. I've been a long time listener, my friend. Thank you. Hey, but I got a story for you. You know, I'm pretty firm in my belief as far as, you know, you know, not paying for women uh, on, on first dates or anything. But when I do get them to uh, my place, if that, that situation happens, which has happened on occasion, I turn on my total jackass mode. And, you know, like I totally will ignore them. Uh, you know, I won't even offer them anything to drink or anything like that. And when that happens... It usually is a done deal. Yeah. 
I don't know why it is. I mean, it's 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 crazy. The minute you stop showing them any kind of attention, they're all over you. That's what you have to do. You have to cut them off at the knees. Hey, well, you know what? I learned all my skills from this man called Tom Likas, and he's the freaking man. <laughs> Love that. Appreciate it, man. Take me out old school. Here you go, Jason. Five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Now we have Diane on the phone here. Diane has done this. I've been dying to get somebody on who does this. Diane. Yes, I absolutely have. I went out to dinner with the guy. Incredibly nice looking guy. Really nice fellow too. But uh, we got back to his place. We had some drinks and we started getting into it. And I got down his pants and realized he wasn't circumcised. And got my clothes back on and left so and uh what did you tell him uh i said that it was late and i had to go i, <laughs> I didn't want to <laughs> you know i mean it's not like we were boyfriend girlfriend you know yes we we're just getting to know each other if you were my boyfriend i would have said you know if, if i decided i wanted to pursue it more i would have explained to him that that's really you know not I'd never been with somebody that was not uh, cut. And you wouldn't so, want to. You wouldn't want to try it. Uh, at that point, no, no, no. I was, I was like, you know, twenty-one years old. And oh, now you would. Pretty. Do it. Uh, no, I'm happily married, but oh. but uh, I don't know. I just don't find them as attractive as. Yeah, but what? What uh, have you met your? What, what have you met your husband? And he was just this wonderful guy that you know he is. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's wonderful, and you're just falling for him and everything. And so finally, he takes you away for that big romantic weekend, and then you unzip him and you reach in there, and it's like, oh my god! Yeah, he's got a turtleneck on. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, I he's guess got the little muffin I top down there. You know what I'm saying? Huh? I guess if I invested that kind of time and and had emotion invested in him, then I, that's something I certainly would try. I'm not a you know, I'm not opposed to trying new things, but uh, it kind of threw me off. It, you know, I wasn't ready for that. Yes. So, so guys, if if you're out there and you're unclipped and you need to, you know, what to warn know. to warn what's coming? I don't know. In my do you case, need do you yeah. need to warn on that? Uh, for me, yeah. yeah but how do we yeah. know if it's you or maybe somebody else really likes that? Well, I. I don't know. To each his own, I guess. To each his own. Unbelievable. But I, I can also say that, you know, I had a friend who had a similar situation. <laughs> and she she got, you know, to that point and And it was a, a different guy, you know. But but it's, it's kind of the norm now to be clipped, you know. Well, it depends on what country you're in, dear. Well. And it depends here, on what country the guy here. is from. You're right, right. Well, good point because uh, uh, he was in in a couple of classes of mine, and uh, and yeah, he was foreign. <laughs> but I didn't know how foreign, you know. What I mean? well, there, that that's pretty much the norm in most foreign countries. Right, but uh, you know, again, it's just uh, my mind hadn't gone, you know, to to that point, you know, there. Like, well, your hand went there, so I imagine your mind uh, preceded it. I mean, I I just was not expecting it. Just kind of. Well, Darren, when you hear it, hear it, let me give you a little a little rule of thumb. If you hear an accent, I'm sorry. If you hear an accent, uh huh. Chances are that's what you're in for. Just assume it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to unpeel it like a banana. Oh my! Yeah, I still haven't ever done that. But uh, now I'm giving but... you something to think about when you're there alone with the shower massager. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, darling. Thank you. Appreciate the call. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. We're here our show streaming live between 3 and 8 p.m. Pacific time. Just go to our website, BlowMeUpTom.com. Click on the Listen Live button, and you'll be listening live. The Tom Likas Show.